Pope Paschal I Latin, Pascalis I, born Pascal Massimi, died 824 was Pope from 25 January 817 to his death in 824. Paschal was a member of one of the aristocratic families of Rome. He was in charge of a monastery that served pilgrims. He was elected Pope in January 817. In 823, Paschal crowned Lothair I as King of Italy. He rebuilt a number of churches in Rome, including three basilicas. Early life According to the Liber Pontificalis, Paschal was native of Rome and son of Bonosus and Episcopa Theodora. The Liber Sensum says that Paschal was from the Massimo family, as was his predecessor Pope Stephen IV. Pope Leo III placed Paschal in charge of the monastery of St. Stephen of the Abyssinians, where his responsibilities included the care of pilgrims who came to Rome. According to early modern accounts, Leo III may have elevated Paschal as the Cardinal of Santa Prasid. Goodson attributes this account to a desire to explain the attention that the Pope so lavishly and prominently paid to that church later in his career. Topic. Selection as Pope Topic. Paschal became Pope on 25 January 817, just one day after the sudden death of Pope Stephen IV. This decision occurred before the sanction of the Emperor Louis the Pious had been obtained, and was a circumstance for which it was one of his first tasks to apologize. Paschal advised the Emperor that the decision had been made to avoid factional strife in Rome. According to the Liber Pontificalis, Pope Paschal's papal legate Theodore returned with a document titled Pactum cum Paschali Pontiff, in which the emperor congratulated Paschal, recognized his sovereignty over the papal states and guaranteed the free election of future pontiffs. This document was challenged by later historians as a forgery. Papacy <inaudible> <inaudible> At the time of Paschal's reign, Rome was in a tumult. Neither the papacy nor the nobles of the ever held control for very long. Paschal gave shelter to exiled monks from the Byzantine Empire who were persecuted for their opposition to iconoclasm, and invited mosaic artists to decorate churches in Rome. This is known because Byzantine Emperor Michael II wrote to Frankish King Louis the Pious in an attempt to stop it. In 822, he gave the legateship over the north Scandinavia to Ebo, Archbishop of Reims. He licensed him to preach to the Danes, though Ebo failed in three different attempts to convert them. Only later did Saint Ansgar succeed with them. In 823, Paschal crowned and anointed Lothair I as King of Italy, which set the precedent for the Pope's right to crown kings, and to do so in Rome. Although the Pope himself opposed the sovereignty of the Frankish emperors over Rome and Roman territory, high officials in the Papal Palace, especially Promicharius Theodore and his son-in-law Leo Nomenculator, were at the head of the party which supported the Franks. Lothair immediately made use of his new authority to side with Farfa Abbey in its lawsuit against the Roman Curia, forcing the papal administration to return properties which had been misappropriated. The decision outraged the Roman nobility, and led to an uprising against the authority of the Roman Curia in northern Italy, led by Pascal's former legate, Theodore, and his son Leo. The revolt was quickly suppressed, and the two leaders who were about to testify were seized at the Lateran, blinded and afterwards beheaded. Suspicious that the deaths were to cover up the involvement of the Pope in the revolt, the Emperor sent two commissioners to investigate. Paschal refused to submit to the authority of the imperial court, but issued an oath in which he denied all personal complicity in the crime. The commissioners returned to Aachen, and Emperor Louis let the matter drop. Topic. Construction projects Paschal rebuilt three basilicas of Rome, Santa Prasid, Santa Maria in Domnica, and Santa Cecilia in Trastevere. Paschal is credited with finding the body of Saint Cecilia in the catacomb of Calixtus and translating it to the rebuild the basilica of Santa Cecilia in Trastevere. Paschal also undertook significant renovations on Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore. In addition, Paschal added two oratories to Old Saint Peter's Basilica, S.S. Processus et Martignanus and S.S. Zistus et Fabianus, which did not survive the 16th-century renovation of St. Peter. 
S. Pascal is also sometimes credited with the renovation of Santo Stefano del Caco in early modern sources, but this renovation was actually undertaken by Pope Pascal II. According to Goodson, Pascal used church building to express the authority of the papacy as an independent state. Topic: <laughs> Writings. Topic. Only six known letters written by Pascal remain. The first Jaffe 2546 confirms the possessions of the territorial abbey of Farfa. The second and third Jaffe 2547 and Jaffe 2548 were written to a Frankish abbot prior to and after his elevation as Archbishop of Vienne. The fourth Jaffe 2550 was written to Louis the Pious. The 5th Jaffe 2551, preserved in the Bibliotheca Ambrosiana confirms the privileges of the Church of Ravenna. The last Jaffe 2553 was written to Ebo, the Archbishop of Reims. <laughs> Death After Paschal S. Death, the Roman Curia refused him the honor of burial within St. Peter. S. Basilica, and he was buried in the Basilica of Santa Prasede, which includes the famous Episcopa Theodora mosaic of his mother. Paschal was later canonized, and his feast day in the Roman calendar prior to 1963, 14 May, currently the 11th of February. Topic. See also. Topic. List of Catholic saints. List of popes. Topic. References Topic. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Herbermann, Charles, ed., 1913. Pope Paschal I. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton. Topic. Further reading Topic. Goodson, Caroline J. 2010. The Rome of Pope Paschal I, Papal Power, Urban Renovation, Church Rebuilding and Relic Translation, 817-824, Cambridge University Press. John N. D. Kelly, Gran Dizionario Illustrato dei Papi, Edizioni PMSP, A, 1989, Casali Monferrato Al, ISBN 88-384-1326-6, Claudio Rendina, I Papi, ed. Newton Compton, Roma, 1990. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Pascal Popes. Encyclopedia Britannica. 20 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. External links Opera Omnia by Migni Petrologia Latina with analytical indexes.